So we're going to show you through our Mark V today. I've not really shot it before. It's actually the installation due to be removed now, um, starting today. So I thought we'd best get a video in before it before it goes. I've put certain things on on Instagram and stuff over over the two years we've had it, which always seems to be quite you know quite popular. It sounds really good. It's got some decent tech, um, and yeah, a nice sort of subtle ethos around the build. Um, you know, carpeted decent Alcantara and stuff like that throughout and uh, and just some really good locations for the speakers so I'm gonna put a track on walk you around the car <laughs> start with the head unit, it's the Sony RSX GS9, multiple inputs on the front, USB, mini USB for direct to DAC, uh, rear USB which I have coming out of the uh, ashtray there, just plug my phone in, plug an iPhone into it or whatever you want to do really, real minimalistic, good looking deck. Moving along to The thesis tweeter, the new thesis tweeter, the Violin 02 six ohm driver, so a little trickier to drive than normal. I've got this um, adhesive neoprene, uh, neoprene pad so that when the door closes with the mid-range, they both join together but they're decoupled from each other, so um, may not do anything but it makes me feel better. Thesis Voce mid-range in a um, sail panel build it's fluted on the inside and smoothed off it plays down into the door just to give it try and give it as much space as I can I did actually wad these uh, builds with a with a um, like a, a, a woolen wadding and, uh, and it didn't actually sounded uh, actually made it sound worse which was bizarre um, so yeah that came out pretty briefly these are the kicks so as you can see grill protection Alcantara mid base is in there and it plays along the sill so it plays down the, the void in the sill um, through to the rear quarters where they're sealed off so they've got plenty of space to work um, they're down there because they're just they're, they're just much further away and the, the mark 5 uh, door location is dreadful it's right by your right by your bum uh, you don't really want it playing from there so yeah they're on axis so as you can probably see that one down there She'll be pointing up to this rear door quarter and then that one down there will be crossing just in front of me when I'm in the driver's seat. But yeah, makes a hell of a difference in terms of sound. Boot's quite simple. 5.1K on the left, Quattro on the right. Um, some nice panel work and just really subtle. So this is a, a Volkswagen carpet, matches the rest of the carpet. Um, a subwoofer box, like I, like I said, isn't... Uh, isn't a, a common enclosure it's two individual enclosures um, not for any particular reason other than the fact I had them pre-built so um, they went in there um, smoothed off a, a panel for the for the top to flush the hardware in on the subwoofers and they play quite well they play nicely there there's the uh, bit one HD wonderful piece of kit beyond glass so it is you know it's protected from from anything that might hit it in the boot. So is the, uh, so the amplifiers, it's a reinforced glass, so you really struggle to break it. Um, and that's the boot work. I'll show you the, the processor controller, the DRC-MP. 
it's in a sleep mode so after one minute it'll it'll shut itself down you can turn that on or off i put it in the vent because i actually use it quite a lot so um usually i'll try and drop it into a uh, into a pocket or um try and tuck it away but yeah it's quite a nice drc you can adjust the uh, all of the colors the actual brightness of it so you know it needn't get in your sort of in your face it's, it's not too bright being there um works quite well and again the uh, the tweeter there on axis and to sit together like so and yeah it works quite well what a nice system So that was our Mark V. By the time you see it, the video, it's likely that the system uh, would have been removed to go into something else. It's been in a, in various guises, it's been in a couple of different cars with me. Um, I really like the way it sounds. So yeah, um, subscribe, I think is the thing to say <laughs> on a YouTube video. Um, and yeah, constructive criticism, let me know what's what's what. I'm trying not to keep these things boring, but it's uh, it's quite techy and geeky car audio. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes across well and everyone learns a couple of things. Thanks. Bye.